Okay guys, so in the past videos, I talked about the positive side of investing in Pag-ibig's MP2. I talked about how it's tax-free, how it can be passive income for life, how it can be compounding, how it can be a good return for people who don't want to watch their investments but still be time deposits and bonds. In this video, I want to talk about the negative aspects also if you want to invest in Pag-ibig MP2. So please remember this. It's not about what the best investment is. It's about finding the best investment that fits you because there will always be pros and cons for each investment. So if you want to know more, check this video out. Hi everyone, this is Marvin Germo. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get updated every time I create new content about investing, about budgeting, about the stock market, all with one goal in mind. I want you guys to reach your goals of financial freedom. So if you're excited about this, I hope you stay up until the end and I hope you subscribe and hit the bell. Hey guys, so we're back on our ongoing coverage towards Pag-ibig's MP2. So over the past videos, as what I've mentioned, I've highlighted the positive parts of Pag-ibig's MP2. If you haven't uh, watched those videos yet, I have a playlist. I'll put it in the description. I'll also put it in one of the cards above. So you get insights on what it actually is. So you get to actually start. And the reason why I'm showing you the positive and the negative or the pros and the cons for each investment, so you, see, so you get to see at least uh, each of the facets of the investments because you have to remember no matter how good it is there will always be a portion that it may not be favorable for some people and there may be risk also attached to it and your goal here is the reason why you're watching these videos is so you get different sides of the story also so you make uh, you can make a holistic decision on what you're gonna do with your money because at the end of the day that's all I want I want you to decide based on data I want you to decide based on the insights that I give you so that you don't come in blind you don't come in uh, just coming in about the returns that you will get in it the worst thing that you can ever do with your money is just put it because you want to get a return everyone wants to get rich but not everyone is willing to take the time to have the due diligence to know what they're getting into when they're investing so I, I got a lot of people who messaged that they started opening their accounts at Pag-ibig 2 uh, Pag-ibig Pag 2 congratulations to you guys but here are the negative facets that I, I can see in it number one since you are getting something that they would they place that the rate of return was around 7%, 7.5, 8 plus percent over the past period, here's the thing. Uh, it does not beat still investing in individual stocks. Meaning, if you know how to pick, type, select, and trade the markets well, you know how to use fundamental analysis, you know how to use technical analysis, you know how to invest in foreign markets. Please remember, the U.S. market last year crushed it. Facebook Apple did so well. Large brands did so well. The Starbucks, the McDonald's, uh, all did well also. So if you know how to invest in U.S. stocks, you you also have an edge. So meaning, if you're purely invested in Pagibig's MP2 versus U.S. stocks, there were a lot of U.S. stocks that did so well. Just Tesla alone also, because of the Cybertruck disclosure, did massively, massively, massively well. For those who've been following the videos, I posted the video, the top stocks for 2019, Holcim, and a couple of the stocks that have broken out, the JG Summit stocks also, Gokongwe stocks have done, done pretty well. So why am I saying this? Those who know how to pick select time and trade the markets and those who can uh, ride the volatility will do massively well still than MP2. Another way to look at it is this. Those who have longer time horizons, meaning if the stock market is down in 2019 and 2020, but they're positioning not for 2020 or 2019, they're positioning for 2025. Meaning if they buy 2019, 2020, and their goal is to see the stock go up to 100% by 2025, then the stock market will still beat uh, Pag-ibig's MP2. So that's one of the risks no, that uh, you, your money might be better off if you're after growth meaning if you are after uh money getting higher you're you're after money getting uh getting growing at a much much fa faster pace then it might be better to put it in the stock market versus mp2 that's one number two uh talking about also the earnings uh please remember that the earnings that they're giving they are not interest rates they are dividends so they're highly dependent on the earnings of the company they're highly dependent on the earnings of 
pag-ibig on the loanable amount that they can give. So, you cannot also predict what the earnings will be. It does not mean it will be consistent on a year-to-year -year basis. It does not mean that it will be 8%, 7% uh, on on two, three, four years from now. Because we can never predict because it will always be uh, dependent. It will always be hinged also on what the earnings of the companies are. Let me give you an example on how it can how the earnings of Pag-ibig's loans would be affected. Please remember this. Should there be a recession, what does that mean? There might be people who will lose jobs. When people lose jobs, they might not be able to take to pay for their loans. Or for those who uh, lose their jobs or because the economy is not doing well, they might not uh, opt to buy houses first. They might want to rent. Please remember, when there's bad economic times, not a lot of people will want to buy houses. They will try to be more conservative as well. Or please remember this also. If times are bad, interest rates will be higher. If interest rates are higher, it might not be as conducive. It might not be as cheap for a lot of people to be able to borrow, to be able to buy houses, to be able to uh, get. So that's what I'm trying to say. That being said, if not a lot of people will get houses, meaning the returns of pag-ibig also may not be as good as well. So those are two things. Number one, the stock market. You're, you're, uh, they call it in finance. Uh, Time, you can, you can put it opportunity cost, meaning the same amount of money invested in the stock market done well versus the same amount of money invested in Pag-ibig MP2. Uh, you might yield better results if you know what you're doing in the stock market. Number two, it's also the... the the, because it's not interest rates, if, if something changes in the economy, the earnings of Pag-ibig might also get hit as well. Now, uh, now there's, a, there's, a, there's a talk also, by the way, that uh, the, the, earn, the, the amount is guaranteed. Please remember, what's guaranteed is your capital. It's not the returns. Let me just clarify it. I'll say this over and over. What's guaranteed by the government, by Pag-ibig, is your capital, meaning the money that you put in. If you placed in 100,000 pesos, that's the amount that's guaranteed, not the earnings. They will not guarantee earnings. They will not guarantee a percentage rate of return. What is guaranteed only is the capital that you put in. The, the amount that's variable is your earnings, and that's pretty much dependent on people taking out the loans as well. So, Please remember, there's still an ability. There's still a risk that people will default on their loans. There's still a risk also that people who bought houses may not be able to pay for their houses if economic times are not as good. And I mentioned this in the previous video that it's still amazing that our current economy is still good. That we still have a lot of upside based on OFW remittances, based on the BPO industry, based on Pogo, based on. Uh, based on that we are a consumption-driven economy, based on tourism getting better. So that being said, uh, that's still very, very far from where it's supposed to be, meaning uh, there's no risk yet of a lot of people defaulting because a lot of people have more money right now that they can actually pay for their loans. Third, another risk is this. Eh? Uh, your money is locked in for five years, automatic, unless it's at unless the conditions I posted on the previous video will be satisfied. Meaning, uh, you get sick, someone dies, uh, you, you plead insanity, or you get it gets fined out you that you are insane, then that's when you could early terminate your, your account. You can terminate your uh, money even before it's not in the five-year period. So that being said, uh, it being locked in for five years reduces its liquidity. And that's the advantage of stocks. That's the advantage of bonds that you can buy it anytime you want and you can also sell it anytime you want as well so uh I, that's why i'm a stock market guy because i like liquidity that if something bad happens in the economy i can easily sell my stocks like that i can just log in through my phone press sell take out take out my positions and then i'm done you cannot do that for the pag mp2 fund so the remedy for that and the solution for that is this please make sure that the amount of money that you put in in the pag mp2 is an exact detailed intentional amount that you do not plan to touch for five years do not put something there just because you want to earn more because the common tendency is i'll put more money because if you put more money in you will absolutely earn more but the thing about that is is what if two years along the line that's money that you would need for something else so you must be intentional you have to make sure that the only amount of money that you put in pag ebigs mp2 is something that you don't plan to touch for five years because it's not as liquid as what most people think it is and that being said also the advantage i know there are a lot of of online applications already that uh, on how you can transfer and how you can monitor it as well but I still like uh, one of the advantages of stocks 
is I like the app-based platforms that you can get from stockbrokers, uh, the, from online platforms where it's easy to see and it's easy to value. Unlike unlike so unlike in Pagibig, you still have to log in to their portal for you to be able to get the data. Unlike the listed stocks, all of the companies, all of the details that I want to see are right smack and right there. Th those are... Uh, some of the risk and some of the negative things that I could see uh, for Pagibig's MP2, but generally speaking, the fact that it that it stacks free puts it head and shoulders above all of the other investments that I've mentioned. The fact that also that the rate of dividends that they're giving is still higher than some dividend-paying stocks, uh, preferred shares and bonds, it still makes it generally good. So my my analysis in all of this is I'm saying that uh, MP2 is a good investment. However, it also poses potential risks to certain investors depending on what they value more. So definitely, if you're into massive growth, uh, stock investing, growth investing, dividend growth investing, buying stocks fundamentally cheap will certainly beat Pagibix MP2. If you want liquidity, of course, the stock market will beat MP2 because you can sell it anytime. If you like the ease of using apps, the stock market will beat Pagibix MP2 anytime as well. And there... I hope this is something that gave you uh, enough insight also in Pagibig's MP2. In the next video, uh, this is this does not end yet our series. In the next video, I will compare Pagibig's MP2 versus SSS, Pagibig's MP2 versus the Premio Bonds, Pagibig's MP2 versus a dividend paying stock in the stock market. So you can expect at least three more videos. Plus, at the end of all of this, I'm going to do the Tagalog uh, Pagibig video already. But comment below if you want me to do the Tagalog video first. Uh, I know that there's a lot of you who want to consume content via Tagalog. So, um, especially for some that they said they wanted to share to their friends and relatives. If you want me to do the Tagalog MP2 video first, comment below Tagalog and I will do that first. But if you want me to do the Pagibig MP2 versus SSS uh, video first, comment it below. Also, comment SSS and I'll do the SSS video first as well. By the way, uh, just a quick announcement. The links are already available. I've already announced that we are go we're going to push through with Stock Smarts London. Uh, the link is in the description below and Stock Smarts New Zealand this June. So Stock Smarts London will be uh, April, Stock Smarts New Zealand will be this June. And as what I've mentioned in the previous videos, we're having Stock Smarts Taiwan this February, Stock Smarts Manila this March, and Stock Smarts uh, Singapore this May as well. All of them are in the description. All of them, uh, it, it just has one goal. The goal basically is I want to teach stock investing and trading to Filipinos around the world so that they can trade the markets with confidence that it's really time for Filipinos to be able to trade. I'm educating you now with MP2 and MP2, please remember, is an asset. Please remember also that if you have MP2, it's nice also to diversify. So if you think MP2 has its own risks, the next way for you to be able to uh, somehow segment that and somehow also alleviate that risk is to just diversify for for, um, for amounts of money that you want growth put it in stocks for amounts of money where you want passive income for life put that in mp2 and it has to be an amount that you don't plan to touch for a very very long period of time or at least five years as well so i guess that's it for now i hope you guys are learning this is i think our fifth video already in our series for pagibig's mp2 comment i'm learning if you're learning comment if you're believing that this is an amazing year for you, an amazing year of learning, building skills, hustling, and making your money work hard for you. Because at the end of the day, I'll say this over and over and over, those who hustle hard will always win. Those who don't focus on the money first will always win. Those who invest will always win. Those who put uh, a vision on where they want to be will always win as well. It's time for us, this generation, to be the richest Filipino generation ever. And I hope you got a lot from all of this. And I hope this is something that gave you so much insight. I hope that this is something that pushes you and changes the way you think that I really will do videos like this over and over because I want to change uh, YouTube. I want to change the narrative that YouTube is not just for entertainment. It's for educating people that believe more. They want to reach for their dreams as well. And thank you so much to everyone who subscribed. We're now at 75,000 subscribers. We're very, very near to 100,000 already. Thank you for everyone who have been liking commenting, sharing this because I really believe this will go a long way also for Filipinos to learn more of this as well. So that's it for now. Expect more and more and more videos tomorrow. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. Marvin Gerbo still here in Manila. See you all again soon guys and God bless you all.